Hey, this is Eric from Ticket Spice, and I'm going to show you how membership works inside a ticketing page here. So I'm gonna cover a lot, but uh, it's gonna be really exciting for you to see how membership and ticketing can work together all under one system. In this demo, I'll show you how to set up membership, uh, maybe a level or multiple levels. I'll show you the attendee experience and how that looks for them, how it functions. I'll show you how someone can validate themselves as a member. I'll show you how you can conditionally show or hide or discount options on the ticketing page based on if they are a member. I'll show you how to manage existing members, and then I'll show you how to import memberships into the system if you are capturing membership outside our system. So uh, a lot of cover here, uh, but what you're looking at here is just a sample generic ticketing page. Membership will work on all of our different pages here in Ticket Spice. Um, so I have a general mission level here, a VIP level. So the very first thing I'm gonna do here is to add membership to the ticketing page. And to do that, we just put our mouse over where we want it to appear, and we're gonna hit plus and go up here to Member Manager. And so this is going to open up the options for adding membership to my page. So I can do a number of things here. Uh, one of the first things is, how do you want membership to function? Do you want to be able to have where people can purchase and verify? You also can have um, it where only can, people can purchase it. They can't uh, verify, it's only a, a brand new enrollment. You could take off enrollment if you want and just have people to verify their existing membership. So this would be if you are selling membership in some other system and all you want the ticketing page to do is to verify it. if they're an existing member, you'd choose that. And then you also could do a renewal and purchase uh, one as well. Um, and you're not really verifying existing members. So lots of options there. You also can require it or not have it re required. So depends on how you wanna set up your ticketing page here. But I'm gonna add another membership level here to the ticketing page. And to do so, I hit plus. And so you can see here, we can give it a name. So I'll give it a name here. And we're going to enable it and you can set a fee. So maybe I want my membership fee to be $99 and we might want it to be yearly. Uh, and we can set a bunch of controls here for when the system asks for renewal, uh, especially with the auto renew, you can set these configurations here. So uh, we'll do early renewal by, let's call it uh, 30 days before. And so you can have the renewal based on the purchase date, or if you're doing something that's like annual, like every December, you can have this be on a fixed date. So if you are the type of organization that does renewals on the same calendar month every year, you choose that. Most people are probably gonna choose the purchase date and then you can allow people to auto renew, and you can also require auto renew too if you want. So lots of options there. So I'll hit save. And so now this will present that membership level and this one on here, but if you don't want to show multiple membership levels, you can just simply untoggle one. So I'll do that with that one and hit done here. So now I have my membership option there. Now, some of the ways that you might wanna use membership would be to discount uh, maybe a ticket level uh, that's really common. The other way is to show maybe other options for members only. A common way you can use that would be maybe exclusive merchandise, swag, options, things like that. So you could use merchandise and you can have that show only when a person is a validated member. Uh, I'll do something a little more simple for this example and I'll ask, are you going to be part of the members only reception? Okay, so I have a basic question here. Are you going to be part of the members reception? I'm gonna display it as radios, yes or no. I'll hit done. And so I want that to only appear if they are going to be buying a membership or they're a currently validated member. I also want to discount VIP as well. So uh, to do that, we're gonna use actions. And so you will go up here to actions and we're gonna create an action. We're gonna create one to show that member only question. And then we're gonna set a second action that will discount the VIP ticket level. So let's go here and we'll say when membership is valid or is a member, we're gonna do a couple things here. We're going to show, we're gonna do that question, are you going to be part of the reception here? Uh, so we can save that. And then we're also gonna add that compound action here, which is to apply discount. And so we'll apply a 35% percent discount and we'll make it on VIP. You can make it on all ticket levels if you want, that's great. Uh, you also can limit uh, how many discounts uh, a member can get on a ticket. So let's say uh, for our membership level, we want the discount to be a limit of two VIP tickets. So we actually can apply a limit discount to two on VIP. And that way you can have some control over if someone is going to use our membership level and 
buy 46 tickets, you know, of the specific I know, but you could uh, have a limit there if you want. So this is all up to you and super easy to set up. So with that, then when I click my ticketing page preview here, I see that my uh, levels here, I see my membership, I don't see the extra questions, um, but when I go into create a new membership and enroll, it'll now present that option there for me to be part of the reception and also is discounting the VIP ticket level. So I can see I have immediate membership benefits there. So that's kind of the nuts and bolts of setting it up. So let me show you how this works for an exact member. So uh, again, you can keep on adding more options here that will relate to membership, but for this example, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna hit publish and there my ticketing page is published. We'll hit view published. And this will be the experience that your patrons or attendees will go through to reserve tickets and buy membership or validate members. So the first one, I'll show you someone who's gonna buy membership for the very first time. So let's go through here. We'll add two VIP tickets. We see it's $110. We'll see, I want to create a new membership. I'm gonna do the super awesome membership for $99. You can see instantly my discounts applied. And then I have the options of attendee. Again, these were settings we set in the previous example of whether or not I want my auto for new membership to be valid or not. And then I can say, yes, I'm going to the VIP reception. And now I can check out. All right, so we have Michael Scott here who's buying a membership and also buying two VIP tickets and we hit submit. And so now I get my confirmation page. My member number now is issued to me, which is great. And so now I can use this for future purchases. So I got my discount. I'm all set, I'm ready to attend. I have my member only specific questions there. So that's great. So that's the attendee experience that goes through and buys a membership for the first time. Now, what about if I already have a member number? And this is gonna be important, maybe that you're importing existing member numbers to your ticketing page. So using this number, I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard and I'm gonna go back through the ticketing page experience again. Here's my published ticketing page. I can go down, I can add two tickets here as well. And we can say, I have a membership. So uh, that opens up the member number field. Now, if anybody forgets their member number, which frankly might be common, they can hit, I forgot my member number. And so the system will email them their member number based on this little field. So uh, you can use that to have people uh, retrieve their member number if they forget it. But uh, the system will first seek to verify them based on member number. So I'll put in my new number there. Since it's active, shows it when it's gonna be expiring and so then I have my total discounts applied and I have my member only uh, questions here that I can answer. So that is the validation experience there as well and I can check out and the rest. So that is how an attendee buys a membership. That's how they can use it. Um, now let me show you how you can manage uh, an existing member as well. So we're gonna click out of this, click out of that. We're gonna go back to our main area here we're gonna to go to reports, and we'll go to memberships. And here we see a list of members. We see a bunch of test data here, but Michael Scott, that's me. We can hit view on Michael Scott's membership. And from here, we can see the membership level that Michael's on. We see payment information. I can add any notes if I want. I also can update the payment method. Uh, for example, maybe someone calls and they wanna have their auto renew membership uh, put on a different card. You can do that, just hit update payment method and there you can add that all in there. Uh, you also can go back and see when was the original time they purchased membership and you can view the registration record there. Uh, but on this example, I want to edit membership. And so I can go through here and I can make a number of changes to this membership. I can change the status. I can change the member level. Um, I can also create a custom member ID, maybe to fix a problem. And you can also manage their expiration dates and change their auto renew statuses. So super easy to control and manage, and it's uh, uh, super flexible for you. So all those edge cases, we've got you covered. Now, let's talk about if you have an existing membership database and you want to import your existing members into the system, we make that really easy. Over on the top right here, we see import members, and that opens up this window that'll walk me through how to import my existing members. And so uh, what the system does, it asks you to match up some of the values uh, into uh, our system, so it'll be member number ID and name and email address and the uh, member level ID and the member price. Um, so you can bring that all in here into the system. And so uh, you just would import them this way. And we give you a little download template that's right here. 
Uh, let me show you what that file looks like, just so you have some context here. So that file here is going to have the member number, it's gonna have the first name, the last name, the email, the ID of your member level in the system. So whatever the ID of the membership in my gold example or my super awesome membership, you place that ID in there, the fee for that membership, the status and the expiration date. And so you'd fill out this CSV file and then you'd re-upload it into the system here and you hit choose file and here grab that file and import them and then all your members are inside of the system. So, and they're ready to be used on your ticketing pages. So, and so that is the whole tour of membership here. Hopefully this has been really helpful for you. Uh, please reach out to us for any questions you have, but uh, membership and ticketing is really powerful. We hope that you enjoy this demo. Hopefully you get to use it here soon. And uh, thanks for watching.